So a lot of you get to see the builds when they work, but what you don't get to see is a lot of times when I am switching gear out in and out between matches or even during the match trying to figure out what works. And so for this character, this Necromancer um, that I've been playing s since about Greymore, that's when I made the character. Was it Greymore? I think it was Greymore. Uh, yeah, I wanted her to be vampire and a... Uh, no, no, not Greymore. I made her in... Um, Oh, what is it called? <laughs> I'm sorry. It, elsewhere. Elsewhere. I'm sorry. I probably said Grimmore in another video too. I, I, so that was wrong. It was elsewhere. And yeah, I wanted her to be a necromancer and a uh, vampire and all of that. But anyway, she's a hybrid. And unlike my other hybrids, unlike the DK and the sorcerer, this one is still been in a place of the most flux and it's been the most frustrating to try to make work I can't seem to just make everything work or make everything fall into place you know um, I wear defensive sets to survive longer and I still get shredded <laughs> even in even in defensive sets um, the damage is so high that I uh, basically get, you know, I don't, I usually don't go VAMP 3. I just don't like VAMP 3. I mean, I, yeah, I don't like the, the, the increased cost and, you know, I can deal with it, but it's just not really the way I want to play. And so, um, I just stay at stage one. Basically, it's just a skin and, and if I, um, occasionally use some vampire skills, you know, that's whatever. But, um, it's, a, it's an RP thing. Anyway, so, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, defensive sets, you know, they, they, you know, I still get pretty beat up in those. And also, my sustain takes a hit. Uh, with a sustain set like Shackle Breaker. Uh, again, I, okay, I have, I have sustain, but my survivability takes a hit. Okay, so I try to address, um, sustain and survivability, and then my offense takes a huge hit, and I can't kill anybody. <laughs> you know, I'm smacking people, and it's like, just, it's like hitting a brick wall. Nothing is happening. So, uh... I'm really interested though in seeing what the new Pelennial's Wrath can do on this character. That might be just the thing that I am looking for. Possibly, I don't know, maybe not. Uh, but it may, who knows how it may, how it may work out. But I may try that instead of New Moon Acolyte because New Moon Acolyte has a 5% skill cost and that hurts, that makes it more difficult to sustain. But, then again, with the Pelennial's Wrath, it may, the Oblivion damage that I, that I take while I have that set, uh, or while I have those stacks of Pelennial's Wrath active, might be too much for me to deal with. I'm, I'm intrigued though. I want to give it a shot and see what it can, what it can do on this character, but I think the most, the the most comfortable I've probably been on the character is with New Moon and Ancient Dragon Guard. But, um, it's, you know, it has a good ba balance of defense and offense, even though it's a, the sustain kind of dips a little bit. And the offense is not always there when I want it. And the defense is, uh, well, you got to get hit in order for that to kick in. So, you know, um, I've, I've been trying that. I've been trying. Uh, I went through some fortified brass just so I can have, I wouldn't have to farm like prior or something. But, yeah, I'm going to keep working with this character. And, and even though this is the first hybrid I made, it's still the one that is the most 
the the one that I struggle with the most and that is still the most frustrating. And, and you know, part of it might be that I never quite figured out the the way to play a necromancer, or maybe I do know the way to play. I just don't want to play it because from what I see, uh, like a stamina necromancer is basically just uh, blast bones and two hand skills, blast bones. Dizzy Swing, Executioner, maybe mix in a heavy attack every now and then. Blast Bones, then you just rinse and repeat. Blast Bones, Dizzy Swing, Heavy Attack, Execute, whatever. Uh, and then the mag Magic and Necromaster is basically spam your um, Forest Pose or Shot Clinch, then Dawnbreaker into a, uh, a Harmony. Uh, or, or or graveyard synergy, and basically the whole style is just to basically set up for a graveyard synergy. And um, those two play styles are very different. Um, of course, if I was let's say if I was mixing up two hand skills with a graveyard synergy, I think I might have seen somebody do that before. Um, that would be pretty intriguing, but it's getting to that point, you know, surviving long enough or sustaining long enough or doing enough damage long enough. It's just this this constant struggle to find the right balance with this character. So, yeah, I'm going to keep working with it. And it would be nice if Necromancers had the uh, the uh, dual sorcery and brutality buff like Dragon Knights do and like Sorcerers do, but they don't. So that's going to be another challenge to making this character work, but I'm not going to give up on it. Sorry, I had to make sure my mic was in the right place. Um, yeah, well. I'm, you know, if I was on PCS, that would be a lot easier. If I was on like the PC, then I can get on PCS and I can try all of these different sets out without actually spending my real in-game money. But <laughs> I spend a lot of money crafting and um, buying kudas or uh, buying sometimes, or sometimes I just do my surveys and I get my stuff that way. But um, it can be pretty expensive running through all these sets trying to find something that works but anyway that's pretty much it thank you all for watching